A new ocean is being formed in Africa. Geologists have confirmed that a new ocean is being created as the African continent is being split in half. An international effort has revealed that a 35-mile-long rift that appeared in the Ethiopian deserts of Far Region in 2005 is probably the start of a brand new sea. The recent study, which was published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, combines seismic data from the rift's formation to demonstrate that it is driven by processes that are similar to those at the ocean's bottom. The tectonic plates of Africa and Arabia collide in the desert and have been gradually separating for about 30 million years. The Red Sea has also been split by the same motion, but this is only happening at a rate of a fraction of an inch per year. To ensure that you don't miss out on more incredible content like this, click the subscribe button and the notification bell before we go any further. Without further ado, let's begin. Soon, humanity might have two motherlands. Africa's 54 nations are being divided, according to geologists researching the continent's plate tectonics. The East African Rift, which separates eastern coastal nations like Kenya and Tanzania from the majority of the contingent, runs from the Afar region of northern Ethiopia down to Mozambique. A new study in the journal Nature found that the two pieces of land are separating at a rate of 7 mm per year. In fact, nations like Zambia and Uganda will have their own coastlines. Scientists claim that a number of currently active volcanoes along the rift, including the Aludalafila in Ethiopia and the old Duenyolengai in Tanzania, are providing new insights into the process. In particular, the Erta Ale volcano in Ethiopia has been erupting non-stop for more than 50 years. The Victoria microplate, which is the biggest of its kind on Earth and is tucked between each side of the rift, has been rotating against the clock for the past two years. The Victoria microplate is rotating in the opposite direction from every other plate on the continent, including the main African plate. Scientists believe that this anomaly may hasten the separation of the rift. Christopher Moore, a doctoral student at the School of Earth and Environment at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom, was standing next to a lava lake at the summit of a sizable volcano when he noticed the red haze of lava flows a few kilometers away. Although it may seem unusual at Ethiopia's Erta Ale, things are just like they always are. Are these actions the initial manifestations of a tectonic transition? Moore has been learning about this issue at Erta Adel. Eastern Africa's entire Afar region is currently experiencing changes that could split the continent and create a new ocean basin. Due to its resemblance to a mid-ocean ridge, the magmatism at Erta Adel might be revealing signs of this switch. Regarding how close the Afar region is to this tectonic transition, there is disagreement. The petrology of the erupting lava may indicate that we have not yet reached the stage of oceanic spreading, despite the geophysical characteristics of the magma storage at Erta Ale that may indicate this. Standing atop Erta Ale in 5 million, 50 million, or 100 million years, the view will be very different. The issue is whether the Erta Ale and the Afar region will merge to form a new ocean or if ongoing tectonic collisions to the north and east of Africa will prevent this transition from taking place. The Complex Tectonics of Eastern Africa The Afar region is one of the few places on Earth that most closely resembles the moon's surface. This arid and barren region of Eastern Africa, pressed up against the Red Sea, is covered in lava created by the rifting of the continent. At the intersection of the Nubian, Somali, and Arabian tectonic plates, the Afar region is home to a triple junction. They all come together to form a huge eye on the surface of the earth near Djibouti and Eritrea, with a southern opening that extends more than 6,000 kilometers into the center of Africa, the Great Rift Valley. The Sinai Peninsula is where the Red Sea Rift meets the northwest. The Aden Ridge, an oceanic spreading ridge, extends to the east. These boundaries are all extending at up to 1.5 centimeters per year rates. Due to its complex tectonic structure, Africa is a continent that is rupturing apart. A portion of eastern Africa, known as the Somali Plate, has been separating from the rest of the continent for 30 million years. This led to the formation of the Great Rift Valley, 
which begins in Ethiopia and Eritrea, divides around the Kenya Dome, and then merges into the Malawi Rift. The chain of lakes, including Tanganyika and Nyasa, Malawi, that encircle the Great Rift Valley's base can be used to locate the rifting continent on a map. The Arabian Plate has also been displacing itself from Africa as the Red Sea Rift widens, about a centimeter per year. As the Arabian Plate eventually comes into contact with the Eurasian Plate in what is currently Iran, the Persian Gulf will close and become a part of Eurasia. Some of the largest volcanoes on Earth have been produced by the complex tectonics of the Afar region. Since the eruptions of this volcanism are bimodal, they fall at opposite ends of the compositional spectrum. Massive explosions of more silica-rich lava coexist with enormous basalt lava flows. The Great Rift Valley is bordered by these volcanoes. What causes the splitting of a continent? Why does rifting and spreading occur so frequently in this region? One explanation is that the region has been heated from below by the Afar plume. The African continent started to rise and split as a result of this mantle plume, resulting in rift valleys. There seems to be a close relationship between a large mantle plume and the formation of new continental rifts and, eventually, two passive continental margins separated by seafloor spreading at ocean ridges, similar to how the North Atlantic Ocean opened 80 million years ago. Different tectonic settings and plate boundaries can be recognized by geologists for a very long time. Boundaries such as extensional, divergent, collisional, and transform have long been known. The transition from one boundary to another is less clear. How can we determine when a rifting continent transitions into a brand new ocean basin? Not all continental rifts are created equal, and some rifts are unsuccessful and never lead to true oceanic spreading. For instance, about 1.1 billion years ago, an attempt to divide North America failed at the mid-continent rift. We are not necessarily moving toward a new ocean just because we can see continental rifting. The transition from a continental rift to an oceanic spreading ridge may be taking place in the Afar region, which is located at the meeting point of tectonic plate boundaries. Examining the area's crust is one way to approach the question of this transition. The crust under Afar may be less than 20 kilometers thick, as opposed to the typical continental crust thickness of 35 km. This includes the layers of basalt from volcanic eruptions that have covered the region for millions of years. Africa's Future Uncertainty surrounds the direction of tectonics in the Afar area. When, if ever, the area will develop into an oceanic spreading center, whether or not an ocean basin will form between the Somali and Nubian plates, and how spreading in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will proceed are all topics that are far from settled. According to one model, the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will no longer exist 50 million years from now as the Somali and Nubian plates collide with Arabia, joining the three plates that exist today. Today, the eruption at Erna Ale is still going on. According to Moore's research, the East Pacific Rise's mid-ocean ridge magmatism and the volcano's magmatic plumbing are both closely related continental processes. It is still unclear if that similarity portends future events. Conclusion Volcanic activity in the area, according to researchers, is suggestive of a rift-to-ridge transition. Since the Erna Ale has been continuously erupting for more than 50 years, it is anticipated that a new, narrow ocean basin, with its associated mid-ocean ridge, will be created as a result of the eruption. The Y-shaped intersection of the African, Somali, and Arabian tectonic plates between Djibouti and Eritrea is designated by scientists as the location where the ocean will start to form. Although it will take tens of millions of years to find out, scientists say they are unsure of what will happen to the two land masses and whether or not a new ocean will form. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments section below, and also like and subscribe for more videos like this.